Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 21 is this player worth it slash player review type video. As you can see on the screen today, EA have gone ahead and dropped a UEL road to the final at all. He looks very, very good to be fair, a very good card. And as we all know, this guy last year was incredible at right back. One of the best right backs on FIFA 20, in my opinion. He's obviously got the five star weak foot and the four star skills, high medium work rates, five foot nine. He's a very, very good overall card and if you are new to my channel pretty much what we do is we review the SBC take a look at how much it is going to cost to complete and overall work out whether it is actually worth completing so if you are new to my channel please make sure to go ahead drop a like on today's video that'll be much appreciated if we can hit 30 likes that'll be incredible also thank you very much for 4.4k subscribers the support recently has been incredible and also over on instagram if you are coming from instagram make sure to drop a comment down below and say that you're here from instagram um but i am on currently 102,000 followers on instagram the growth is incredible right now the hype for fifa really is is there and also make sure you do go ahead and follow me on twitter i do post a lot of leaks for the new teams that do come out on my instagram and twitter so make sure you do check them out there's a link in the description so please make sure to drop a follow over there that'll be much appreciated but like i said if you are new to the channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video in the future but taking a look at this card genuinely incredible so so well rounded literally for a right back he could play at cdm he could play at center mid you could even probably play him at center attacking mid the fact that he's got 76 finishing just the stats don't look like a right back if you ask me to be honest um his player traits, injury prone, flair, speed dribbler, outside foot shot and technical dribbler. So obviously he's injury prone, which can always be an issue. But again, it's nothing that an injury card can't fix, obviously. So don't worry about that. He's got 80 stamina, which isn't the highest, to be fair. He could die out late on in games, but it isn't an issue again. And obviously keep in mind, if um, Nice actually do well in the Europa League, then this card's only going to get better. So even one upgrade for this card, I'm pretty sure would send him to 84 rated and the upgrades would be incredible. So depending on the price, we'll find out whether it is actually worth completing, but 94 pace, 95 acceleration and 94 sprint speed is absolutely lightning quick. Exactly what you want from a right back. In my opinion, especially myself, I really like having a right back that's got a lot of pace, obviously. It's just so, so important this year, I think, because if you've got someone like Mane running at you down the wing or Neymar, someone with a bit of pace, you've got to have a right back like Kyle Walker, Atal. Um, another option maybe is Wambasaka if he's a cheaper one, but you need to have a right back that's got a bit of pace and a bit of strength and he's quite agile. And definitely this card is that. He's so, so well-rounded. He really does look great. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. He's right-footed. High medium, I'll say is a potential issue. So keep in mind when you are completing this SBC, the fact that he's high attacking, he may go forward a little bit more than you want him to. And obviously the medium work rate uh, for defense, it ain't an issue. You. it would be better if he was medium high but again you can't always get everything that you want from a right back there's always something that kind of stands out that you think oh it could be an issue but taking a look at the price it's only one squad to complete the sbc it is an 83 rated squad with one league one player and a team of the week player at minimum of one so to be fair it's looking very very cheap which in my opinion it's it's got to be worth it it really has so a team of the week player you're going to need let's see as well because renato sanchez has come out in pack so this probably means this card is going to drop massively on the market and i did make a lot of profit on him but again i'm not going to lose profit really because i paid 90k for him so i'm not too bothered but as you can see here go ahead let's say we throw Giroud into the squad he's just an untradeable inform that i did pack so i could throw him in and then i need a league one player and it needs to be an 83 rated squad overall which again ain't too high for an atal it really is quite a good deal in my opinion i don't have many high rated league one players so let's say i did throw florenzi in maybe even if i did want to that would obviously cover both both uh variants here and then it's literally just an 83 rated squad around this i will be probably doing a cheapest solution over on my instagram 
wrong so make sure you do check out my instagram like i said there'll be a link in the description and also check out my twitter i post a lot of stuff over there as well but let me know down below in the comment section will you be completing this yusuf atal SBC? in my opinion 100 percent worth it great value genuinely from ea i really do think this guy has very high potential and could be one of the best right backs on the game so let me know down below in the comment section if you did complete this SBC. if you did complete it and you have played with him let me know how is he for you was he worth the price of actually completing him and overall do you who do you think the best right back on fifa 21 is i think it's kyle walker currently but if this card did get enough upgrades and uh get up to the level of kyle walker i really do think this card could be the best right back on the game so like i said let me know in the comment section down below whether you will be completing it and whether you do think it's worth it but for me i really do think 100 percent worth it and yeah if you did enjoy today's video and it did help you out please make sure to drop a like that'll be much appreciated if we can hit 30 likes that'll be incredible thank you all so so much for the recent support on the channel it really means the world and like i said if you did enjoy drop a subscribe turn the notifications on so you don't miss a single video we pretty much have a new video coming out at six o'clock every day on the brand new sbc plus other videos that i do bring as well depending on content that ea do release but yeah hope you enjoyed today's video if you did drop it a like and that has been that from me peace out